my name is Dr. Thomas Stu of De La Salle University. Today I'm representing a paper called Market Risk Models in Crisis Conditions with my co-authors Ms. Tricia Cruz, Mr. Rogerito Bichaida, Ms. Patricia de Guzman, and Ms. Beatriz Imperial. Introduction Financial institutions have been looking for risk models to help them comp compute risks. But traditional risk models like value at risk has its own limitations, hence the need for a new model. Extreme Value Theory EVT models has two approaches, namely block maxima and peaks over threshold, which are utilized in this paper. Back testing was performed to test the reliability of the models. The paper tries to answer two uh, questions. Number one, how reliable are the extreme value theory models? Number two, which is the more effective model between the block maxima and the peaks of a threshold models in assessing their value at risk during a financial crisis? The paper used three null hypotheses answer the two research questions. Null hypothesis statement number one states that there is no difference between the actual and expect, expected exceedances due using Kupiak test with a 95% confidence interval. Null hypothesis statement number two, the occurrence of exceedances using the Christofferson test with a 95% confidence interval are not spread evenly across different periods. Null hypothesis statement number three states that the expected shortfall models cumulative probability level have a no breach of zero percent. The paper also used several theories. The first theory is a black swan theory. The second theory used is the arbitrage pricing theory to find out the macroeconomic variables affecting um, uh, the uh, markets during the crisis. And then uh, another theory, the extreme value theory was used, which has two models here, the black maxima and the peaks over threshold. The paper also used three backtesting tests, namely the Kupik test, the Christofferson test, and the traffic light approach test. Uh, the extreme values uh, refer to the highest and lowest returns in the data collected. The black maxima model, the data were grouped together in blocks. In the peaks over threshold uh, model, a threshold was set and the data above it the observed were used. So as mentioned earlier, there are three backtesting methods used, the Kupiak test, Christofferson test, and the traffic light approach test. Uh, data collection. The paper used uh, Bloomberg and uh, investment websites to collect the secondary data from the six countries, namely Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, South Korea, Philippines, Singapore. The composite indices of each of these countries were used, namely the Stock Exchange of Thailand Index, the Jakarta Stock Exchange Index, Bursa Malaysia Index, Korea Exchange Kotpi Index, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, and the Singapore Exchange Index. Both the Asian financial crisis and the global financial crisis were used as benchmarks. The entire total number of years used was 25 years from 1994 to 2000, 2019. 
uh, the paper also used several uh, distributions, namely Gumbel, Fouchet, Generalized Extreme uh, Distribution, and Generalized Pareto Distribution. Results and discussion. The study found that the effective measure model during the pre-crisis period of the Asian financial crisis is the POT, or peaks over threshold model, since it displayed favorable and consistent returns results for all the back tests. But during the crisis period of the Asian financial crisis, the study found out that there's no clear uh, depiction of the effective measure of both models, the block maxima and the POT, because of the unfavorable and inconsistent inconsistency of results. During the post-crisis period of the Asian financial crisis, the study found out that the effective measure model again during the uh, uh, Asian uh, post-crisis period of the Asian financial crisis is the POT model. Since it displayed favorable and consistent results for all the back tests. For the pre crisis period of the global financial crisis, the study found out that the effective measure model during the pre crisis period of the global financial crisis is the POT model. Since it displayed favorable results for most back tests for all. Uh, countries except Thailand under the Christofferson test. For during the crisis period of the global financial crisis, the study found out that there is no clear depiction of the effective measure model during the global financial crisis period because of the unfavorable and inconsistency results. During the post crisis period of the global financial crisis, the study found out that the effective measure model during the post-crisis global financial crisis period is the POT model since it displayed favorable and consistent results for all the back tests. Conclusions Most of the models from Black Maxima POT are suitable for both the Asian financial crisis and global financial crisis of the pre-crisis and post-crisis period with the POT being the ideal model. The block, the block maxima model uh, was not chosen due to the failure uh, of uh, the data to adjust to the abrupt shift in the market situations brought about by the uh, pre-crisis and post-crisis period. The POT then is the more reliable model compared to the black maxima model. The main reason for that is that the black maxima model is prone to wasting information by dividing the data into blocks, which is critical when dealing with extremes that have a smaller set of data. If the observed pattern given by the model is proceeding towards the actual values assessed for the crisis period, then it implies an upcoming crisis. Therefore, the paper recommends that other industries to consider the extreme value theory in determining the most effective models to be utilized in assessing the risk exposures. Thank you.